I'm Miranda Erickson. I work for the library as a public service specialist in adult services. I started as a shelver, so my first job was um, getting books up onto the floor, getting them into their proper places, doing shelf reading, making sure things were in order, and helping people on the floor, helping people find books, find things in the library. And as a library user, prior to becoming a library employee, I knew this library really well. So it was easy for me to tell people where to find what they needed. And, um, and I, I had this pride and confidence burst because I could say, I'm working at the library and tell people about what I got to do here. And I went from my shelving position to a job in circulation. So I got to learn to run the AMH machine, um, get everything checked in, carted up, work with customers at the desk, with accounts, and this took that another step up and, and got so much more knowledge about how a library runs and more opportunities to work with people directly and, and help people use the library. And in my current job as a public service specialist, I am so fortunate to be able to work with writing programming. Okay, my name is Renee Patzer, and I am a cataloger. Okay, when I started cataloging, I, I think you know, it was all about the rules and standards, which is very important when you're a cataloger, and there's a reason why we focus on that. But what happens when, when the rules and standards don't play well with your catalog? Or what happens when um, um, part of the, the Dewey doesn't work well with patron access. Okay, so anyway, here I am now after 25 years. I see my job as being all about access. Access in the catalog, access on the shelf, I guess, you know, whatever, wherever my job is about access. For me, you can always make things, you can always make things better. You know, you're always It's like my antennas are always up if I hear complaints or something. You know, what can, what can we do to make things better? Um, so we did uh, uh, start a just kind of an off the hand idea of doing a parody video um, once uh, Taylor Swift's Shake It Off came out and check it out was an obvious um, library term that fit in there well. Um, and when you know people think of that, they think of checking out books. Uh, so when, when I changed the lyrics to the video, I kind of started with that. And the, the first part of the song is very heavy on, hey, there's all this stuff. And you know it's books, but it's not just books. There's movies, there's music, all this stuff you can check out. Uh, but then check it out also works on another level. In, there's so much going on with the library, come check it out.
Um, my name is Amber Bonnet, and I'm the Digital Branch Librarian for the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. There was um, a specific customer that I've worked with a lot over the last couple of years, um, and he first came to me um, wanting some help with some paperwork, and um, he we had kind of a language barrier issue. He um, was from a West African country, and he was trying to understand some paperwork that he needed to write an essay for a refugee status. And uh, he still had some family back in, in his country, and so um, you know he had all these letters and instructions, and he understood most of them. But when it came to the actual essay writing, you know, he wanted it to be really poignant and clear as to what his experience was like, and um, you know what he was asking for. He wanted to make sure that it was. Um, this point was really made and that it was going to be understood. So it was really nice to work with him through that. He had amazing stories and, you know, he had, he had gone through a lot, which um, brought a lot of perspective, I think, into my own life. My name is Eugene Melvin. I work in the maintenance department. I am a janitorial crew person. I keep the library, shall we say, sanitary. Hello and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your library. I look at you and I see this. Um, I feel that every day that I come here, I make a difference to someone here at the library. Hi, my name is Jennifer Jones, and I order the fiction for the uh, Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Oh, and I also work on the bookmobile one night a week at, with, out with the public, and I also work on the red carpet desk, which is our services to uh, people who read large print. It's all a very wonderful, satisfying, gratifying job. And people on the bookmobile, I've been on the, the same night, Thursday nights, for 20 years. And uh, it's really built some wonderful relationships, and, and uh, I will. I've had instances where I've tried to connect people with a book, and, and the woman will say, "Oh, I'm not interested in that." And somebody else who I've connected with books before will say, oh, "You really ought to listen to her. She knows what she's talking about." And I'm like, "Oh, advocating for me, which was a, a wonderful thing." And it has happened more than once. It's a. It's a. The, the library is a wonderful place to be, and it's all about building relationships. My name is Leanne Petrie, and I am the Youth Services Supervisor. We seat ourselves at several community tables, and do so very purposefully. It's great to learn perspective. Um, every agency that we come across is unique and has a unique angle uh, for, for serving kids. So for example, um, parents as teachers is going to offer a little different lens than say a mental health agency that serves kids within our community or those that are dealing with drug endangered children. Um, people who are frontline working with kids in dire situations um, can tell us firsthand what those families look like so that we can better meet their needs. Again, not just as a library, but definitely as a library, but more as a community. How can we provide um, and and really do the best we can for our community's kids. Um. I think the biggest difference between the library and McDonald's, or the library and any other store that's selling stuff, is that what we're selling is other people's stuff. We're trying to connect people to other stuff that's already in the world and help them get access to it. So at McDonald's, they're selling their product or the thing or their lifestyle or however their marketing works these days. Um, and at the library, we're trying to connect people to what they need. And we don't necessarily, I don't want to say we don't care what they need. We do. 
but we don't care which particular thing they need. We want them to get it still. So if it's a social service, if it's a new DVD, if it's a video game, if it's the ability con to connect with other people at the library, that's what we're trying to sell them. That's what we're trying to get them. Um, so I think that's the big difference. Um, I tried to work part-time in a bookstore and I was terrible at it because I kept looking things up for people to see if the library had them and giving out my business card and um, I just wasn't into the model where we can only give you what we sell. 